these two questions are very similar and we're going to solve them exactly the same way and that's by drawing a right triangle to start. The key to understanding these is to see that the input to the sine function which is the output of an inverse cosine well that's nothing more than an angle because cosine takes an angle as an input and its output is well for cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So if I have the input to the inverse function, well the output of that will be the original angle. So if I know that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and I know the input to my inverse cosine is x over 4, then x is the adjacent side and 4 is the hypotenuse. And all I'm going to do is use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. And I'm only going to take the positive of the square roots since we want our distances to be positive. So that means that missing side is simply the square root of 16 minus x squared. So the outside of this, the sine of that angle, well that's going to be the opposite over hypotenuse. Which means all I have to do is read straight off of my triangle. The answer is going to be square root of 16 minus x squared divided by 4. And that is all there is to that. Let's do this one more time to make sure we get the hang of this. Okay, this case we have secant. Secant of an angle is hypotenuse over adjacent. So in this case the hypotenuse is x and the adjacent side is 2. Again, I need to find the missing side. I'm going to do that with the Pythagorean theorem and that's our missing side. And if we want to know the tangent, we just look at the opposite over adjacent, and that's our final answer. So these are really not that bad once you draw the triangle.